Well, Rebel fans, welcome to the post-game show. We're talking to our offensive players of the game. And as you can see, the interview room's a little crowded tonight. We have the offensive line from the Chambers Academy Rebels tonight. I'm going to do this. I'm, before I ask a question, I'm just going to pass the mic around and come back to the question. So take the mic, announce your name and position for us. Jake Owens, uh, I'm a tackle, number 65. Levi Walter, right guard. Grayson Bonner, center. Dylan Williams, left tackle. Thanks, guys. Uh, one of the things that we, Chester and I talked about tonight, Coach is talking about how you guys have gotten your cleats in the ground and are dominating the line of scrimmage. And I think it, it really, it shows because we have put up, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 49, 42, and 38 points in the last three games. That, that's incredible line play. I think our running backs have done a great job, but being a former offensive lineman, a guard, I would tell you that line, uh, running backs don't get anything without great line blocking. So yeah. you guys did an outstanding job. I want to just ask you one general question about the game, and we'll just pass the mic back around and let you guys do that, and we'll go forward. It, thinking back about the game, thinking about your schemes, did you come out with the idea of dominating the line and at what point in the game did you think you would establish that domination? So, did you think about it, and at what point? You know, we watched a lot of film on them, and we knew they were going to come out big and strong, but we knew that we were big, and we're going to bring it to them every day, every time. So, yeah, we knew it coming in, and I think we established it when we got to 28 points. Okay. So, before the half. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All righty. Yeah, I mean, just like Jake said, we prepared for these guys because, you know, on film, they're big, huge, big old boys, you know, and we ain't very undersized, but they look huge on film. So we prepared, and Coach Allen told us that uh, they wouldn't, they was going to hit us in the mouth and stuff. But I think we, we asserted dominance in the first quarter. Okay, great. Excellent. Yeah, like, like both of them said, we watched, prepared a lot for them, and – Coach Allen told us before the game today, he said, we're going we're gonna to out-coach them, whether we outplay them. But before we even start every game, I don't even look at the opponent. I just, you know, we're going to do what we do. Right. At, once we scored that first touchdown, I knew we was, gonna, we was on a roll then. Excellent. Great job. Like all of them said, we, we watched a lot of film and everything. And, I mean, we just came out did what we need to do on the front line and the backs did what they needed to do and we got things done and I mean they really we can tell they was giving out first quarter and then about fir first half it was done for when it was 28 to nothing yeah well guys I, I can't state enough just how much I think the offensive line play really established the tone for the game um, if you think back we had a couple of really big penalties that went against us early and then they had multiple penalties that went against them on big plays um, again I, I'll, I'll congratulate everybody I, I thought your quarterback played great I think he managed the game once again really well I think he put the ball in the air a little bit more tonight and was accurate we, we had a we had a couple passes we didn't catch we had a couple passes that were overthrown so overall I think the offense is really clicking and I think a lot of that depends on you guys up front so congratulations on a big win three in a row so now we'll get ready and we'll go to Bessemer. Yes, Thanks, guys. Good luck. Well, folks, welcome again uh, to the clubhouse. Now we're going to talk to our defensive player of the game. We had a great defensive effort tonight. I mean, we've talked a lot about how well the offense and the offensive line played. But uh, Ryan Ford is our defensive player of the game. And Ryan, congratulations. I thought you did an outstanding Thank job. Uh, Ryan and I were just talking, and Chester were talking uh, while we're getting set up here. Um, tell us a little bit about your uh, perception or your your evaluation of the game. Uh, when did you when did you get the feeling that you guys could dominate them on the defensive front? Uh, really, I thought we were going to dominate anyway. So our front four linemen are great. Our D linemen are great. Uh, but it, it did, they did get us at some points with not pulling the guards, mm -hmm. and then they started pulling the guards. So they got us. They got that one big run down the right. sideline because they pulled guards and we weren't reading the guards at that point. Well, when you and I were just talking about how you guys adjusted, and I think that's a, 
One of the things that I really appreciate about Coach Allen and his staff is you guys do great adjustments. And obviously, that translates to you players making adjustments. Mm -hmm. I, I want to congratulate you on just your closing speed. And I thought you and Luke both did a really good job. Once you got that key and you're saying off the pulling guard, you closed the hole and made good, solid tackles. You're tackling to, everybody's tackling tonight was good, but your tackling tonight was pretty ferocious. Is there? You got after them pretty good. I try to every game. All right, excellent. Well, we want to thank you for taking the time to come in. Uh, obviously, you had to sit here and listen to the offensive linemen. Yes, and, and you play offense as well. But yes, sir. you're the defensive player of the game, and we want to congratulate you again. And thank you. Thank you very much. Good thank luck you. next week. Thank good you. job. Well, Rebel fans, we're back in the clubhouse with Coach and Athletic Director Jason Allen. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Number 301 for the program, and I think we've deciphered 161 or 162 for you career-wise. So yeah. another milestone for the program. Yeah, it was a great win. I was really – my hat's off to our kids, the way we played tonight. I thought we really played well. Um, you know, we, we watch these kids come out from uh, Banks. They have great size. They had really great size at their wide receiver position, and they had some big interior guys. And I thought your guys on the defensive front and the running back position basically just smacked them in the mouth. Yeah, we were very concerned uh, with Banks' athleticism, their size. Um, you know, we were expecting really a, a tough ball game, and uh, I think you know we really came out came out uh, and cut off to a fast start and really. Uh, you know, kind of demoralized those guys a little. And then, of course, we had two big turnovers in the second mm -hmm. quarter that really helped us uh, kind of extend our lead out there. And I thought we were able to cruise on in. But uh, our guys are getting better. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're, getting, we're getting more and more. It's becoming contagious, the physicality part for our kids. And they're really, um, they're really um, you know, enjoying that part of the game. And uh, I think that's really a big factor in the way we're playing. Well, you, you said last week to us, you made the statement about getting your cleats in the ground, in the grass. And, and I mentioned that we had your offensive line in here tonight as the offensive players of the game. We could have had multiple running backs, yeah. uh, but we wanted that offensive line to get some recognition. And I mentioned <coughs> that to them, and, and they were of a very aggressive mindset, and they wanted to be aggressive from the start. And kind of the unanimous opinion of those guys was, you know, when it went to 28 to nothing, they felt like they were in complete control of the game and it was going to be a win. But they didn't stop playing. They kept playing really well. Yeah, well, we've really challenged those guys. We feel like that's the strength of our team. And we've told those guys as they play and improve, the better we're going to get. You know, we got five or six guys that can run the football yeah. that are good runners. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's really, I think, it's making us hard to defend because we're, we've got several guys that can beat you. But, uh, you know, the mindset that our offensive line and those two tight ends have taken has really uh, propelled our team to another level. Um, we watch a film every week uh, multiple times of a team out of Washington uh, from about 10 years ago that runs a wing tee, and we've set a goal of that's how we want to look at the end of the year. And it's about a five-minute clip, and our guys – they're, they're really in awe of the way that team plays with their pad level uh, and how hard they come off the football and how they try to dominate people. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're aspiring to be, and I think we're taking steps to get there. Well, I, I think this, and, and certainly I'm no coach. You've forgotten more about coaching than I'll ever know. But the thing that amazes me is not only are these guys, they're, they're, they're pretty fearsome, and then they do a great job of sustaining blocks. That's something I really am seeing more and more of. And it's really not just the right side or the left side or the center. It's really across the board. Yeah. We're seeing that line play that's just kind of gelled together. And, and one last thing is, I think your quarterback, again, played very well tonight. Yeah, he, he did what we asked him to. You know, um, we're, we're a little conservative right now with some things. But gosh, dog, when you're running the ball the way we are, you know, <laughs> it's, it's hard to take those chances right. sometimes. And uh, well, we got to get better at throwing it. We got to get better at right. that execution part. Uh, we got to get better with our discipline. We're still getting some penalties that are hurting mm -hmm. us. Um, blocking behind plays, some holding penalties. It's getting better. But uh, when, <laughs> When you play with the way we're playing up front, you're going to get some penalties from time right. to time because of the aggressive right. nature. But uh, really, I think we're, we're getting better every week, and if we can keep doing that, we got a chance. Well, you know, we, we talk a lot about 
the standard that's set here and the discipline of your players and the control. Uh, I think the game got really, really chippy in the third quarter. I think there's a chance to have that discipline breakdown. I, I think, personally, Banks did have a breakdown in some of their discipline. And I thought our kids handled that real well. It settled down in the fourth quarter, finished up without anything. Yep, absolutely. And I'm huge on that. I don't, I don't want our kids responding to what the other team does. Right. And they know that. And, uh, you know, we're not perfect, but that's what we aspire right. to be. Well, Coach, it was a great game, I think, overall. Uh, again, our kicking game, offensive, defensive. Uh, play was outstanding. I think you made great adjustments. We, we were talking to your defensive player, uh, our defensive player of the game, and uh, Ryan Ford had mentioned that we didn't expect them to pull a guard, and it kind of was an adjustment you guys made at halftime, and it helped him have a better or different key. And we thought he played really well tonight on the defense. Yeah. Very he, aggressive. He's getting better. He stepped in there for Gavin, you know. Mm -hmm. He's played there before when he was in junior high, and he's getting better every week, and he's a physical player. And, uh, you know, we've really picked up and, and, and proved uh, well, he's getting better every week. Well, next week we're going to drive to Bessemer <coughs> and play yep. a non-region game there. Yep. And uh, it's the first of three on the road. So uh, we'll take a break from region play for a little while, and then we'll have one more, I believe, at home, and uh, we'll finish this thing off. We're at the midway point, game five. Yep. I like where our team is. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, we after the Rockies start, our guys held together and have really uh, held their composure, and uh, I like where we're at right now. Well, I, I'm – this is my first year doing this, and I'm really proud of this team. I, I did not see people hanging their head. I saw people just come out and play. You know, that's all you can do. You lose the first two and you lose pretty badly. They could have hung their heads, but they came out and played really hard, yeah. and they played great the last three games. Yeah. That's a sign of a, of a healthy program. Absolutely. That's a sign of a complete program in my mind. So congratulations again. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank Remember you. this. It's great to play for the CNEA. That's right.